Hey y'all, hope you're doing well. So here's a little story. I think maybe it was in 2015, 14, I don't know, but it was a while ago. Okay, hold on. I can't believe 2014 was 10 years ago. I'm old y'all. Besides, that's besides the point. Um, so 2014, it was a Sunday, I was coming from church. And I remember that day at church, they gave us these little bracelets right not this one but i'm just showing you like a little bracelet and the bracelet said god loves you so sure enough they said um we're giving you a homework go and listen to the holy spirit and whoever god will tell you to give the bracelet to that's exactly who you're going to give the bracelet to so i left church and then went to kmart i don't know if some of you know about kmart but I went to Kmart and um, I parked there. And as I was parking, there was another car that was parking right next to me. So I got out of my car and that lady also got out of the car. And immediately I felt a prompting on my heart. And it was like, give the bracelet to that lady. And I said, absolutely not. <laughs> I will not give the bracelet to this lady. And I went to shop in Kmart um and as i was shopping i kept thinking about the lady and thinking i should totally give the bracelet to the lady <coughs> excuse me to the lady but i kept arguing with myself and saying no i will not give the bracelet to this lady and my argument was i do not know if she's saved i do not know if she loves jesus i don't know if this woman worships buddha i don't know if she's muslim i don't know if she's gonna be offended i don't know if she's you know gonna start crying and feel the presence of god but honestly I said to myself that I was not going to give her the bracelet. So I go, I shop, I finish, I pay, I get out. As I am walking out, there were three different doors at Kmart. So as I was getting out of one door, she was getting out of another door. And you guys, as we're walking towards the car, she looks at me and she says, oh, this doesn't happen that much. And because of the internal battle that was happening inside of me, I just, I looked at her and I was like, excuse me, what? <laughs> and she repeated what she said. She said, this doesn't happen that much. And I said, what doesn't happen that much? And she said to me, we came at the same time and we're leaving at the same time. This does not happen that much. And I said, um, yeah, no, it doesn't. <laughs> Even as I'm telling this story, my heart is racing again. Because I can remember exactly what was happening in that parking lot. So I get inside my car. And you guys, this voice inside of me is like screaming now. Give her the bracelet. And I just, I couldn't. I could not have the courage of giving her the bracelet. So um, I'm pulling out of Kmart. And I remember that she got out of the parking spot and started honking and asking me to pull down my window. So I pulled down my window and I look at her and she screams like she yells, right? Hey, honey, may the Lord Jesus Christ bless you. And she took off. And you guys, I sat in Kmart's parking lot in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And I bawled my eyes out. I felt like I had failed God like never before. I felt like I have disobeyed. I felt like all my excuses were just crap, to be honest. That, um, you know, all the doubts and the fears and the things that I was telling myself so that I wouldn't have to go give her the bracelet were not even true. She wasn't a Muslim and she wasn't a Buddhist and she wasn't this and that. But I um, I had failed. And <laughs> I think often about that story and that story brings me to a place of obedience with God. Even when I don't understand, even when I say, but God, I don't know, ABC and I make a whole list for him. It reminds me, hey, Charlene, obey. You do not have to understand. You do not have to 
have it all together just obey what god is telling you 